Welcome back to Steven's Garage. Today, I'll be showing you how to reclock an alternator. So in my previous video, I replaced the alternator on my 1990 Ford F-150. This is the original that came off of it, which I also reclocked when installing it. And today I'll be showing you and explaining what I'm talking about, how to do it, and assuring you there's no cons to doing this. So reclocking an alternator. If you look at it, depending on how it mounts on the truck, that was the bottom, that was the top. So it put the plug part up top and on the bottom. When I bought the replacement alternator, the plugs were on the opposite side, on the back side. So what I had to do was I had to remove the, in this case, three bolts on the back side, which I will do here. And each one is going to be a different size, different cars that you're going to be working on. Some use inverted Torx bits, some use metrics, some use SAE, but it'll always have either one or three bolts that hold the two halves of the alternator together. Get this guy done. That's two. That's the last one. So what I'm talking about reclocking is when you hold the two halves of the alternator together and you spin one side, either counterclockwise or clockwise. So I turned it counterclockwise, which puts the plugs up top. So this is how it would line up if you were to put it in actually you now go this way the bolts on top so you'd have the plug down on the bottom which that wouldn't work so you just keep turning it until you get it to the point where you need it to be once you have it at the proper clocking you just take your bolts put them back in you tighten them down, you gotta make sure not to over tighten them. Do not use an impact. Do not use any kind of a large tool on this because it is very easy to strip out the casing of the alternator. And if that's stripped out, you gotta drill it out, re-tap and dye it, and it's a whole ordeal. So I always recommend using quarter drive tools because it makes it one easier to do. These aren't always that tight and it prevents you from really over torquing them because you only have that much leverage on it. So once you have it clocked at your proper position, you tighten all the bolts down and you can install your alternator. It's very simple, doesn't cause any damage to the alternator, but you do need to make sure that when you are reclocking it, you have to hold the two halves together. If you don't hold the two halves together, it can come apart and then you're gonna have a bunch of issues there putting it back together, getting the uh, the coil in the proper space. And it's gonna be a whole ordeal and it'll be easier to buy a new alternator at that point. So that's how you do that. Thank you for watching guys. Hit the like button.